Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 34 and in this video we're going to start changing up some content using the DOM. <laughs> Alright then guys, so as you can see I've gone right to the NetNinja website and I've got the elements panel at the top here and then the console panel at the bottom. So what we're going to do is start changing some of this content using the DOM. Now to do that we have to follow two steps. First step we covered in the last lesson, it's grabbing whichever element we want to change the content of. Okay. The second step is using different methods to change that content. Now I'm going to show you two methods in this video and the first one is going to be inner HTML. Okay. So first of all, let's grab an element and I'm going to just grab this body tag for simplicity. So we know we have to store it in a variable if we want to later on call methods on this variable. So we'll do that. We'll say my body equals document dot get elements by tag name. And then we'll pass in body because that's the tag that we want. And that's going to store that tag in that variable for us. So if I call my body should return an array. Yep. With just that body tag in it. So. To get that tag and use properties on it, we have to use array notation. We'd say my body and then in square brackets zero. And that's going to get the first element within that array for us. So this one right here, then we can use methods on it. And to use a method, we'll just do our dot, and then the method name is called inner and then in capitals HTML. Okay. So if I just call this without doing anything else at all, that there is going to return back to us the whole HTML content within the body tag, the whole inner HTML of the body tag. So I press enter and you can see right there, I get all this data right here, which is all the HTML in the body tag. Okay, well, that's all right, but not much use to us. What if I want to change it? I want to give it some different HTML instead of this right here. And I can use inner HTML to do that also. I'll say, my oops, my body zero dot inner HTML equals, and I'm going to put the new HTML within these quotation marks. And I'm just going to do something really simple. I'm going to say P, um, I am a paragraph tag, just like that, dead easy. Then I'm going to close that P tag off. So if I click enter now, that should replace this current HTML, all this in a HTML of the body tag with this HTML here. So let's press enter and whippity doo we've done it right here. Now that is a pretty extreme example. We're not going to do that very often, but this is just to show you how you can take an element from your web page and change the inner HTML of that element. So you could change the header section, you know, you could put different H tags or a navigation section and put different A tags within there. So that's what we do. We'd use the inner HTML method to change the HTML of tags on our page. All right. So let's refresh over here to get the original page back. And this time I want to show you the second method, which is called the text content method. And this is similar to the inner HTML, but it only changes the text content, not the HTML tags. So say, for example, you want to change the A links different. You want to put different links in. You'd use inner HTML because you're passing through A tags, right? If you just want to change the text on, say, a H1 or H2 like this here, you'd use the text content method. All right. So let's do that now. We'll say var my title and then we're going to go after this title right here. So I'll right click inspect that and we can see it's got an ID of page title. So we'll use document dot get element by tag uh, by ID rather and we'll pass in the ID which is right here page title page hyphen title and that's going to store it in a variable for us. And this time, remember, it's not in an array. It's just the one element itself because only one ID can be given to each page, right? So we can use methods and properties directly on this variable without using the brackets notation. So we'll say my title dot text content right there and see what that returns to us. And there we go. It gives us this text content, which is what is displayed right here. Now, if we want to change that, we can do so. We can say my title dot text content, and then we use the equal sign and we set it equal to a new string. And that string is just going to be yo ninjas get ready to learn. Woo. -hoo! Okay. 
And now you can see it's changed the text content right up here and here. So that is the text content method. All right, guys, so they are two pretty simple methods you can start using to change the content of your web page. Remember, there's two steps. First of all, grab the element that you want. Second, use the method on that element that you want to either change the HTML or the content, the text content of that element. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer any of those. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoy the videos, please share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.